This is a Lucy Data Privacy video. So what is data privacy and why is it important? Data privacy refers to the responsible handling of personal data. And since a breach in privacy can cause limitless financial penalties, damaged reputation, loss of trust in business, and for the responsible employees, the prospect of disciplinary action, following the rules is in everyone's interest. In comes the GDPR, the European Union's General Data Protection Regulation. It introduces tougher fines to non-compliance breaches and gives people more freedom to decide how companies can use their data. The GDPR applies to any entity that uses or holds people's personal data. It applies to a particular task if the information being processed is considered personal data of a living person, it is processed within the EU, and the services are provided in the EU. So, what is personal data? It refers to any identifying information that relates to a living person, including facts and opinions. Examples include names, addresses, and telephone numbers, physical descriptions and CCTV footage, as well as unique reference numbers, personal salary information, economic and cultural information. Pseudonymized personal data may also be subject to GDPR rules. Sensitive data, on the other hand, refers to information regarding racial or ethnic origin, political opinions, religious or other beliefs, trade union membership, criminal proceedings or convictions, physical or mental health, and sexual orientation. This is private information and could be used in a discriminatory manner. Therefore, the rules for processing sensitive data are much more rigorous. Here are some terms you should know. Data subject could be any living person identified by the data. Data controller refers to one or more people who determine the legitimate purpose for which the personal data will be used. People who handle personal data on behalf of a data controller are called data processors. A recipient could be anyone to whom personal data is disclosed, including a data processor, a witness, or other employees. There are also certain exemptions to the rules of personal data disclosure that you should be aware of. These include crime prevention, regulatory bodies, legal obligation, confidential references. So what are the principles that guide GDPR? Principle one, always process data lawfully, fairly, and transparently. You must have the subject's consent and you must inform them of why you need their data. Principle two, only collect personal data for legitimate and specific reasons that you must disclose to the data subject. Principle three, you must only collect personal data that is adequate, relevant, and limited to what is necessary for processing. Principle four, you must take reasonable steps to ensure personal data is accurate and current. Principle five, personal data must only be kept in an identifiable form for the duration of its intended purposes. Principle six, personal data must be kept secure from unauthorized processing or accidental loss, damage, or destruction. Principle seven, the data controller must ensure that all data processors comply with the GDPR via set measures. Principle eight, under the GDPR, individuals can access their personal information via subject access requests that must be answered within 30 days. Principle nine, applies to business organizations and their customers and employees so that only necessary data is collected in an informed manner and data is updated or deleted as appropriate. What are your rights as a data subject? Data subjects have the right to be informed why their personal data is being collected. They can access the data, request rectification or deletion of records, restrict or object to processing, request copies of the data, and receive protection from automated decision-making and profiling. In order to process personal and sensitive data legally, you are required to meet certain preconditions, like obtaining the subject's consent or explicit consent in the case of sensitive data. There must always be contractual, legal, public, or employment reasons for obtaining the subject's personal or sensitive data. Can organizations request personal data? Personal data, such as medical and employment history, may be requested by certain organizations. However, in order to receive that data, they must obtain the data subject's consent or require the information for contractual reasons or protection of legitimate interest. What about age restrictions? 
To process the personal data of any subject who is 16 years of age or younger, you will need to obtain consent from their parent or legal guardian. You should be aware that the GDPR allows EU member states to lower this down to age 13, so keep this in mind. What happens if you notice a data breach? According to the GDPR, data breaches are cracks in security that lead to the destruction, loss, alteration, unauthorized disclosure of, or access to personal data. They must be reported to the supervisor authority within 72 hours. If the breach is likely to result in high risk to the rights and freedoms of the data subject, he or she must be informed of the breach without delay. Thank you for watching, and remember always be attentive and careful when handling personal or sensitive data.